Well, see, this table is only about three and a half, four inches up off the ground. So when I when I bring in something long, way off down down this way, it's right on the ground. And see how this is up? Obviously, I can't cut something like that. But what I do is I just push that down and, and line this up. You know, then I can hold this down with my hand. And that's nice and flat. I lift up, obviously, it's like that. But see, that works way better for me. Then I can hold this and cut it. Now, each saw that you use may operate slightly different. So before I do a cut, let me slide that out of the way. I want to make sure I'm comfortable with using this, uh, this button here to turn it on and off and see if it's got a kickback and all that kind of stuff. Last thing I want to do is start cutting thinking that the saw is going to work one way and it doesn't. And I lift up on it and it doesn't have a lock back uh, on the blade or something and it nicks my finger or something as I let go or something, you know? So I'm just going to hit this a couple times. Make sure I feel comfortable with where the where the button is here and it has and it, it feels like it's sticking a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to do that on this particular one or not. Sometimes it doesn't stick and sometimes it does. I'm gonna have to be kind of aware of that. And there's a slight kickback when I let go of it, like a little break that, that goes on the blade, but then uh, the blade is still turning, so I gotta make sure that once I stop, that I keep my hand out of there until, it's, until the blade stops. See right there, it's it's not wanting to go. Okay, I see. There's a little this handle might have a slight crack in it. You gotta be careful with that. Like I say, I'm using somebody else's saw here. I'm just gonna have to be aware of that. That it's kind of hard, like right there, I can't even push it in. It's gotta be lifted up a little bit and fit in the notch. Just have to be aware of that when I go. Okay, I think I'm ready. Because I haven't used this table before, I want to make sure it's coming square out of here. Got it on zero, clamps in there, and got a hand square here. I'm going to look at this. And it's not perfect from the store, but I'm going to put a mark on here and trim this off just to see how well this table is. Okay, I don't want to cut too much because I need this almost this whole length of baseboard. So you got a question about that. The last thing you want to do is make a, a first judgment chop and then find out, oh, now your baseboard's you know a half inch too short or something. Okay, so I'm set that up in there. And incidentally, I've got some ear plugs on, and it's and it's a good idea to have some eyewear on too. In fact, I better go get that. Put those on too. Here's the glasses I use. I don't like to use the big uh, goggles, you know, that goes all the way around because then that those fog up after a while. So. Something like this, just like regular sunglasses except clear, that's the best. When I make this cut, I'm gonna, before I do anything, I gotta line this up square to the table. I just kinda pull that down, and I don't wanna get it perfect. I wanna get it slightly short, then I can slide it to get a perfectly straight line. See how the, did you hear how the blade kind of kicked back a little bit when it stopped? Okay, now, that looks, and incidentally, 
never pull this blade, this uh, guard up and try to lock it into place. That is always comes back down to protect yourself. Okay, put that up there. That's pretty square. It's slightly, I mean, ever so slightly off. And so if I wanted to, I could set this at slightly off zero. If I do that, then I have to clamp that down, don't I? And every time I cut a square cut, I got to remember to do that. Let's just take another cut and see. If I want to shave off, you know, hardly anything, pull that down and push that up tight to the blade. And it's kind of hard with these long ones. Now I can shave off just a less than a sixteenth of an inch. Let the blade stop before I pull it back up. Okay, now I can look at that. And that is perfect. Okay, so that's less, that's between one degree and zero degrees. And I could do that, I'm just gonna have to remember to do that anytime I want a straight cut. Okay, but for the most part, I'm gonna be doing a 45. And, uh, but either way, when I do a 45, I'm going to slide this blade over. And so I guess I, I'll need to keep this down here, right exactly there, because then my 45s will come out nice and square. When I butt both of those up, they'll be fine, okay? So I'm going to leave this between zero and one degrees. And once I do that, I have to tighten up this handle so that this table will not move, okay? Now, I'm set up for a square cut at the end, and uh, I'm getting ready to make my first cut here. 